My name is Kwanda Gwenduna. Um, I'm, I'm a first born in a, a family of uh, five. I'm originally born and bred in the Eastern Cape in a rural area called uh, Willow Bay. Basically, when I was doing my um, honors in mathematical statistics, um, I actually realized um, the passion that I have in actually trying to explore um, new ideas, trying to find new uh, research frontiers in an effort to actually improve um, the way things um, are done. And at the time, my supervisor um, did actually motivate me um, to actually pursue a research failure as she could see, um, I mean, how good I was in the research I was doing at the time. When I then did my actual honors, my supervisor at the time, uh, Janice, who has since uh, passed away, she has been pissed. Um, actually did uh, motivate me to go further in the research and actually the first presentation I did um, at the Society uh, uh, of South Africa Convention was with Janice, um, whom uh, played a huge role in my uh, pursuing of um, research um, at this point. So basically it was my um, 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 interest in exploring new ideas and actually trying to find new ways of solving things and also uh, further motivated and inspired by my former lecturers as well. Um, research is inquiring. Um, it, it motivates you to always be on the constant look of um, um, new ways of doing things. And then secondly, um, because it's research, you are trying to find a solution to a problem that you have. So you're always um, um, finding um, better ways of doing it. You're always exploring to find out what has been done out there, um, what are the existing gaps and how can you address those gaps. And that alone, contributes immensely to um, existing literature in the sense that it allows you to be like a thought leader in the field that you operate in. For any field, um, the advancement of that particular profession actually um, rests purely on, on research. Because um, imaging our fields uh, such as like um, artificial intelligence, such as uh, emergence of energy crisis, such as cyber risk, all of which um, are need to be explored further so that they can be tackled and also um, new products and actually uh, I think uh, come out of that. So therefore, um, research um, is, is an important skill that should actually be um, forming part of any um, profession so that that profession is advanced via research. The research allows you to come up with uh, some, some novel solutions or other um, cutting edge uh, solutions. So the, 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 pro the profession's um, uh, role and the professional's role, it is basically to firstly upscale themselves with new um, trends that are emerging so that they are always um, at risk of what's happening in the environment and also to explore new ways of doing things. And most importantly, it is to explore new solutions that have not been uh, devised before that can unlock I mean, the value of, uh, of, 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 of um, natural skills. So because um, actuaries make financial sense um, of, your, of the future and also because of their contribution to the society at large, um, we're now linking that to public interest. It means that we need to be at the forefront of what is happening in the economy and what is happening in the, in the public sector so that we can be able I mean, to devise better solutions to solve our society's problems. Um, if we think about energy crisis, we think about um, um, COVID-19, we think about cyber, cyber risk, all of those are societal problems. If us as the prof profession are not closer to the public um, sector um, areas, then we are at the risk of actually being absorbed um, by other professionals. Because of new trends, emerging risk, um, and uh, new ways of doing things, my advice is that for us um, um, as researchers, it is to read white so that you take into account all of um, these new trends, uh, new opportunities, new ways of solving problems so that um, you, uh, you actually find gaps that are existing and then you can actually come up with some cutting edge novel solutions that you can actually use um, to, to develop the profession and also to add uh, into your skill set. So my ultimate advice is to um, 
keep abreast of what's happening in your field, keep abreast of what's happening in the profession, and also keep abreast of what's happening in the society so that society's problems are actually solved via research. I, I, I have a passion for soccer and I support Family Sundowns. And uh, with my wife, I do enjoy traveling, exploring new areas that uh, we have not visited before. Um, I also have a passion for music. And the last bit is that I do love um, tutoring and helping others in the form of uh, providing uh, uh, tutoring lessons um, to HRS um, students. Um, I would be a uh, Vegeta um, in the Dragon Ball uh, series. So, so Vegeta is, is the prince of uh, all science. Uh, he's very um, um, structured and methodical in the, in the way in which he approaches leadership, but he never loses sight um, of, um, of the end goal in terms of the ultimate um, position that he wants to see himself in. But of most importance, it's his love for his family, his ambition um, uh, um, that, that actually drives him to achieve what he does achieve. So he's very strategic in how he approaches life and he's very structured in terms of how he approaches his logical rational uh, way of doing things.